Now the half hours we told you at the top of this broadcast, Mobile Police now stationed at some of the larger stores throughout the city. Officers monitoring things around the clock. Our Tyler Finger just wrapping up an interview with MPD Police Chief Lawrence Batiste. And Tyler, what did he have to say about what they're expecting tonight? Yeah, hey, good afternoon. Byron Mobile Police are going to be monitoring the situation very closely. During my interview with Mobile Police Chief Lawrence Batiste just a couple of minutes ago here inside police headquarters, he told me like last night, they have a plan to try and keep the peace. I want to emphasize what I'm about to say. Their goal is to let people protest like they did yesterday, but, and there is a very big but, it needs to remain peaceful and people need to remain civil towards other protesters and to police. Yesterday, there were arrests and reports of burglaries, fires, and even an officer being injured following a chase. The chief did say that it remained largely peaceful throughout the day. Take a listen to what Batiste told me moments ago. As long as people are, are willing to do their part to keep them peaceful, uh, then we're going to do our part to, to allow them to be able to protest. Uh, but keep in mind that anyone that plans or forms a protest know that there's somebody out there that's looking to, to be a part of your protest uh, for not necessarily the same reasons or to have the same motives that you may have in putting on a protest. And the Mobile Police Chief saying that he believes that the protests were different in our area because he felt that the people who were coming out with the signs and the chants and all the different messages they were trying to share, he felt that they wanted to remain peaceful and they stayed that way. In his view, he believes that the message won't get lost that way. We're live outside Mobile Police Headquarters in Mobile. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.